Hey guys, welcome to another Spin Dives video. Well, this is kind of going to be an update in the fact of it's coming close to the end of their Kickstarter. So, if you are planning on making a donation, they've got um, PayPal on the Kickstarter. I'll link both as I always do. Go for it. They're so close to getting 50k. Their mark was 40 that they've made. So, the game will be happening now, it will be getting put out near the end of the year, I'm guessing from what I've read that they've said is when they're aiming for but they are getting it and if they get to 50k on the Kickstarter thing they say that they're gonna put in I think it's like, uh, I think they say cooperative multiplayer or something along those lines now what's gonna be more awesome than that hopefully they'll add the ability to free row multiplayer with friends. That right there would make the game ten times better if not a hundred percent better. So end of that one. Um, this video is pretty much just going to be me. thought I'd record it. I found something playing it. Downloaded the uh, update to stop any sort of lag and freezing issues that I was uh, having. And it seems to solved it. So I thought how why don't I record gameplay. More as well, give a little break from farming sim. I'm hopefully gonna get another farming sim multiplayer video out. Hopefully planning something with Bill again. Uh, maybe some of the, more of the other guys on the map Bill's got. So, uh, you may be wondering about the uh, camera drop. Now there's a group on Facebook called Sp um, spinning ties group, I think they are. I think that's all they're called. I'll link them. Mainly, I think Russian. Now, if any of you guys are watching that from that page, I've got my doubts. Clarify on that, I because I have no idea. Um, but there's pretty much everyone that likes spinning ties is on there, and it's a pretty friendly group. They make a lot of mods. They're very talented. They did a hell of a lot for the old version with modern that out to have a really enjoyable game that's not just boring with a couple of vehicles. They're slowly getting around this one and they're slowly doing other stuff. One of the guys made a tractor. Um, because this is a fresh install, I don't have it in. I'm trying to figure out how to put them in. I was having all sorts of issues yesterday with it. Um, likewise, the video that I've got of uh, me sort of showing kind of how you put the mods in, I think. I can't remember now. I'm going to have to take down because it's different now. You have to do some different stuff. Am I in four-wheel drive? No, I wasn't. Oh, impressive. This is a new map section. I'm going in a mode. Um, so yeah, they're a great group. Well, that was a little bit like I'm leaving the uh, FPS up in the bottom corner, just out of curiosity for me. Some videos I get real bad FPS when I'm recording. What games? Farming Sim's one of them, believe it or not. This one's got to be one of the better ones. People watching this may be able to clarify why, but I dump it into Deathlock. And the vehicles crawl, they're so slow. Why is that? I would have thought you'd be able to go. Obviously, turning radius would be hellishly bigger, because it's locked diff. But I wouldn't have thought it would slow your speed down, that's kind of annoying the game. That little cheap the speed that thing gets up to, you can drift that thing. You can this as well, everything slides too easy. Well, you can see. Speaking of a little jeep, there it is. Now I'm hoping, now most of you know that I love Land Rovers. I'm hoping someone will be able to mod one in. Right wheelbase for a 90. Land Rover Defender 90. If they'd be able to put that in the game. Any modders or whatever. Even when the real version comes out. We epic. If I roll this thing, I'm going to be so pissed. 
Oh, for freak's sake. Any of you guys watched Peel's video and just when he was showing this off? Shemi didn't have that around at the time, did he? Well. Yep. Yeah. Um, people that are possibly downloading this wanting to know where the new map is, you always start in this section. And you get a fork in the road. Before this went to a dead end. So you wouldn't go down here normally if you've already played it. Go down here and as soon as you enter it, depending on PC specs and what your graphics settings has you'll open into a whole world of fun. I wish I added this little section to begin with. Because it is a lot of fun. There's some big mud patches I found earlier as well. I'll take you guys to them now. truck is an absolute beast as well. For people that are wondering why it's so beasty off-road in this game, search it on Google. Uh, scratch that. Search it on YouTube. The truck is absolutely enormous in sheer size. Look at that suspension. It really is a massive truck. They've also, uh, for the last update, changed the way the trucks work, so this thing just sinks now. It sinks straight to the bottom. The little um, jeep, if I put it in here, it would float. That would be the end of it. Reset. Annoying, you cannot push it with this truck. It just It's like in its own box. Um, the suspension will go, sort of. body will roll like it's on the suspension. I wish you'd be able to push it along, like it is actually floating. But it's only a tech demo. Mud. I've already seen this little patch. I can't remember what the real big patch is now. Oh, oh. oh, there it is, I think. No. I know I was skirting around the outside and I found it. Maybe down here. That's the problem. You get too much speed up and you're going in the ditch. Or you'll spin around. Oh, we'll spin. Oh, yes. Ah, it's down here. I said it before. Or for people wondering about how it works with the 4x4 and whatnot. Now, like a real automatic, they'll creep. Now, I have always have it in automatic mode. I wish you had a manual where you manually selected first, second, third, then down. Something for them to add if the developers are watching. Doubt they are, though. So if I release the brake, it will start spinning the tires. Now it's stuck. It should be stuck. Let me make it stuck. Well, let's make it stuck in reverse. So it's spinning tight, spinning the tight, as the game'sake, as the name. So if I was to put in the diff lock, you would see the tires on. The right side will lock up. So it's 
solid now, all the way across. So the driving wheels, four at the back, will all spin. If I drop that off, two on the left start spinning again. Put four wheel drive in. Now it will probably push through this. But now the front four have got power. And are slowly creeping through. Now it's stuck again, properly. Wow, good. So now I'll enable diff lock. So ah, uh, it's pushing through. God damn it! I'll enable diff lock, and I'll give it some throttle so you can see. And it'll just pull on straight on through. And then you got the handbrake, parker brake. That's self-explanatory on that one. The little jeep off road in mud like this is just useless, pointless. <laughs> Gets stuck within seconds. I should be able to demonstrate it better in here. It's actually sliding around that, that's pretty sweet. So it's been pushed along by the rear wheels and the fronts are just not even spinning. One size. Let's put the diff lock on. No, I'll probably push his way through. So it takes a lot of going to get this thing stuck while well it's really good. We're gonna have nice. And of course you've always got your uh, owl range which is low. If you're wondering what that guy is shouting, if I remember correctly on their YouTube page, I think it's Ovi or ha Ovi, uh, however you say the company's name, it's down in the bottom where the uh, FPS is. They did a video on when they went out to, I think it was Russia actually, to record all of this. All the sound effects for the vehicles. And the guy driving their little six wheel drive, well, not little, but their six wheel drive vehicle that you can put in with the modded files that I still need to figure out. I'll probably redo a video. Maybe. I may not bother if they're going to be putting out updates fairly regularly. And they recorded the sound effect. I think it was from that truck. And it was a guy struggling putting it in 4x4 um, four, four four or 6x6 six six in that case, or low or high range, I can't remember. Shows you a good sort of of the tire deformation. I think it's called. How much do they bend and whatnot? Almost looks like jelly when it goes over. Kind of wobbles around a bit.
almost tipped over again. Let's park this up and get the jeep in case people are wanting to see the jeep. I'm not a fan of it to be perfectly honest. Unfortunately, when you mod it, I know there's ways around it because we've seen people take pictures of them doing it. On the uh, group that I'm on about where I get all these files from on Facebook. There is a way of getting rid of the utes instead of the maz. I would prefer to have the maz because the utes is really pointless off-road at the minute in the game. It gets stuck too easily in certain areas. But with one of the mods they've got, the trail utes, I think they call it. <laughs> it's awesome. It's jacked up. It's got tire, bigger tires. Awesome machine. So let's jump in it. Now this is the utes. I believe there's one actually in my local area. I'm not too sure though. Now that's four wheel drive on, it just it's bogged already. And coming to the end, this is probably getting fairly long anyway. speed as much as I'm gonna get and the grand finale because I know this will just flip and you see we've lost all forward momentum waves are going crashing over there you can still see the tires spinning but ain't going nowhere and you can even see it rocking side to side but as soon as I go into the mass, so to the gearbox I like, there we go. Forward drive on, definitely look on, because probably get bogged in here though. Alright. I know that second pond, if you like, is a lot less uh, deep than this one. Jeep not going anywhere, I think it would move forward or at least go down a hell of a hole. Uh, let's try a different approach angle going from the side. I don't think they've fixed the trees yet. I don't expect them to do that for a long time. Where you can kind of just go into and bounce off. Sheer size of this thing would snap most trees. Yeah, here we go. And brick wall. Now it should, as this vehicle is technically floating, we'll uh, click into it. Seem to be getting anywhere fast. Other than uh, turn the tide appears to be making uh, waves. So it's a case of having to go rescue. But the Mars.
we may have to go for it. Thing sinks like a stone. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. It's kind of an info update, me fancying playing the game and recording. So let me know if you like this kind of video, me wild well, call rambling on. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys later.